and I, I apologize for that. In addition, uh, we're here to award the Community Service Award, which is an ECAR uh, award that the Affiliate Committee sort of came up with a few years ago, and we've been giving it away now. I think this is the fifth year. Is that right, John? Fifth, fourth or fifth year? Okay. Well, in any event, uh, the, the idea is to recognize someone from the organization who goes above and beyond as it relates to dedication to the community. And we've had some great, great nominees over the years, and we've had some great winners. This year is no exception. Um, but let's give, away, let's give away and recognize the people that uh, are here tonight for the Community Service Award. Uh, as a committee, we received the nominations from various members of the association, and then we ask the nominees to talk about themselves a little bit. Uh, so tonight, we've narrowed the, the uh, choices down to two. The first is Rachel Johnston of Johnston & Associates Real Estate in Thompson, Connecticut. Somebody from uh, up north, hopefully you've all got a chance to, to meet. I could spend, the, between the two nominees, I could spend the next 30 minutes reading all that they do for the community. It is truly inspiring, uh, and, and I feel embarrassed actually <laughs> reading this because uh, of, of the meager contributions that I made. But in any event, Rachel is involved in, as a food pantry volunteer for uh, TEG, what does that stand for? It, and organized a book and food drive for children's summer programs. That's an annual event. Uh, she's involved in an organization called Daily Bread, which is a social service organization, and she works as a food pantry volunteer. She's involved in Putnam Rotary. She's a sergeant at arms. Executive board. She's on the executive board. Uh, she's a Paul Harris fellow and uh, on chairs two committees. The Northeast Connecticut Chamber of Commerce, she's an executive board member and president for 2015. The Tortola Memorial High School Alumni Association Vice President, Chair of the Scholarship Committee, Guidance Department, Advisory Council member. The Living Faith United Methodist Church, she's a trustee and chairman of the Scholarship Committee. Uh, again, I could, we have pages and pages explaining all of these things, but I imagine you guys, although you really want to honor her, really would rather drink more, so we'll, we'll move on to our second nominee. You have all three. I'm sorry, do I have three? Do you have a third? Just wait, John. I couldn't wait if I knew the third one. Uh, the second nominee is Deb Fountain. Uh, Deb, Deb was actually the runner-up last year. Deb and, Deb and Leslie as a team last year, I think. Um, Deb is involved in many, many, many organizations. Uh, she volunteered. Okay, Deb. B H H S M E. Berkshire Home Services. Berkshire Home Services. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's involved with with uh, Berkshire Home Services. Home. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Any, New, Eng any? New England. New England. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry about that. She, she, she works on a food drive called the Tom Timmons Team Food Drive. I know that because my kids wouldn't let me leave last year. I couldn't believe the amount of food that was donated during that those hours of that Saturday. She's involved in Sunshine's Kids, the 5K Walk. She's the co-chair. The Hunger Walk, she's a team coach. Sunshine Kids Charter Fishing Trip. She worked in registration ticket and was the volunteer committee chair. She works on numerous golf tournaments as a sponsor, getting sponsors. She credit for life sponsored by Liberty Bank and Celebrate East Lime for the Sunshine Kids. She works for the Nor Nor sorry Niantic Community Church. She's on the Prudential Board, the governing board of the church. She's on the nominating committee the Scholarship Committee, 
She works on the tri as the chair of the Trivia Night Committee, Summer Supper Volunteer, and Peanut Butter Challenge Chair. For the Rotary of Niantic, she's on the board of directors. She works on a, for producing Hope, which is a garden initiative. She's a co-chair, food drive for Karen Chair, annual fundraising gala, the senior picnic, a light parade float committee member, Rotary golf tournament, celebrating slime uh, in the Rotary booth, Amber Alert registration, I know that because my kids got their picture taken every year there. The Touch of Truck volunteer, the Lyman Orchards Pie fundraiser, and uh, on the donation booth. I mean, she's she's involved in everything. There are no, there's more stuff here to read, but I think you all get a picture of, of Deb. And then, lastly but not leastly, Samantha Story. Everybody knows Sam. Sam works, uh, she's with REMAX, she's past president of the Eastern Connecticut Association of Realtors. She works home for, with the Home for Heroes, which is uh, a company that affiliates with real estate related agencies, lenders, realtors, attorneys, inspectors, offering rebates to people who serve the country. Uh, she attends the healthcare EMT and firefighter conference and expo, monthly visits to the local police, distributes information and details of the program, and uh, also takes her own advertising in to sponsor the Homes for Heroes program. She works with the North Stonington Fair Pageant. She's the director, and she's been the director for five years. I don't know whether that's because she loves it so much or she can't get anybody to take over that job. <laughs> Sam, what do you think? Because you love it so much or because you can't get anybody to take she over your job? Loves it. loves it so much. Um, she works advertising upcoming pageants, creating distribute, distributing entrance forms, creates contest descriptions, creates potential interview questions, selects judges for the pageant, creates qualification guidelines, puts together a script for the event, purchase crowns, I mean, everything to do with that organization. She's involved in the North Stonington Bicentennial Committee. She's the chairperson of that committee, advertising scholarships for different types of media, creating applications and scoring sheets, selecting panels to review the applications and interview the candidates, and then announcing the winner in the $1,000 scholarship at the Wheeler High School graduation. And she's the YPN, ECAR YPN chairperson, she works closely with the vice chair and all the committee members in uh, coordinating network meetings, attending local, state, and national YPN meetings. She prepares YPN mid-year and annual conference reports or committee reports, and uh, and, and everything else that, that a YPN chairperson, or sorry, a, a ECAR committee chairperson has to do, which uh, except in the case of, of my committee where I do virtually nothing. <laughs> Is, is quite a task and, and something that should be commended for anybody that takes the time to volunteer for the organization. So for all of these worthy nominees, please give a little round of applause. There's a, a winner of this award and a runner-up. The winner will have the opportunity to award their favorite charity a check for $500 and the runner-up a check for $250. And the second place finisher for the 2014 Community Service Award is Deb Fountain. Can you come up now? The 2014 Eastern Connecticut Association of Realtors Community Service Award is, where's the drum roll director? Rachel Johnson.
Um, the Saba women know um, that I did participate in the last Terry Broder walk, um, 26.2 miles, on Saturday in memory of my mom. Um, <laughs> Leslie Timmons, my business partner, I do do a food drive for Gemma Moran every year in November, um, which is very near and dear to my heart, and last year did donate to that. But I think this year, after doing the walk and doing it in memory of my mom, that I would like the 250 to go to the Terry Road. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I'm very flattered and honored that, that I've been given this award. Um, I'm, I'm very fortunate to live and work in a community where neighbors help neighbors. And um, I feel very privileged that the organizations that I volunteer with allow me um, to be part of their organizations and, and help them with their mission. Um, as, as was mentioned, one of the organizations I volunteer for is TEEP, which is called, uh, which is, stands for Thompson Ecumenical Empowerment Group. It's a social service organization that provides all kinds of services to people in need. Um, and a few years ago, um, they had a, a summer program where they had lost some of their funding, and uh, an important part of their summer program was a reading component. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a reader to the hilt since I've been six years old. Reading has been such an important part of my life that I couldn't imagine children without books. Um, and so I would like to um, take the award, which I'm so grateful for, and donate it to T for their summer reading program for their children. So thank you.